The Crunchyroll Anime Awards. The most esteemed awards show of the century. Fuck the Grammys, this is where culture is reflected. The Anime of the Year. Not gonna lie, they got some solid picks up in here. I'm gonna need you to sit down though. Y'all already know I gotta go with Doro Hidoro. Let's get it! But this lineup is pretty solid. Got some pretty nice taste in here. Best Protagonist. Y'all really have the audacity to put Natsume on here. We all know this man was the real hero. It's kind of funny, but my favorite shows on here place the lowest. I want to see more from Yuji. Midori is awesome, but I feel like she's kind of a package deal. And I love Hinata, but I also really love his boyfriend. Katarina and Anos are easily the best choices in my opinion. They successfully make every side character thirsty for them. But I'll say Anos because he's extra wild. Best Antagonist. Man, this whole cast of characters differs so much. I mean, we got this chick who makes Subaru drink her toilet water. <coughs> that was kind of hot, not gonna lie. This guy's badass. This guy has some good fights. I love this guy's powers. What about Rachel? What about Rachel? Well, she's easily the most hateable on the list. <coughs> I'm not caught up on this one. This is pretty tight. What do you think, bro? Did you see the bonus option? What the depth? Ice cream? Who's this? I hate that guy so much. Pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him, pick him. Best boy. Come on now. First off, does this thing even look like a fucking boy to you? Barney is not allowed on this list. Sa- Satur- S- Satur- Sat- Satoru? Shit, that's a good one. Kuhn? Yeah, that's another good one. Anos? Like I said, does this look like a boy to you? This man can only be referred to as <coughs> Daddy. So that just leaves Legacy and Shoyo. And does this look like a boy to you? No boy in real life has orange hair. Get that shit out of here. Legacy is best boy! Jokes aside, even though Legacy really does win this one by a landslide. Come on, people. This show didn't even come out this year, but I gotta let that slide for this category. Best girl. She looks like a robot. If she tried to hug me, my life is over. She pulls everyone she meets. I ain't with that. She's crazy hot, but she's also just plain crazy. Holy shit. Bro, why y'all gotta do me like that? Crunchyroll, y'all are pulling at my heartstrings. Chizuru needs no introduction. She's a 17 out of 10. Kaguya needs no introduction. She's 17. But I gotta give it to Chizuru. I saw her in public yesterday, and she looks even finer in person. Picks her, it didn't happen. Just be the sorriest Best opening sequence. Kai Kai for the audio, Wild Side for the visuals. Best ending sequence. BNAs makes me feel really nostalgic, but come on, Lost in Paradise got the audio and the visuals on a thousand. Best VA performance. This guy sounds really cool. Best VA performance for English. All of y'all did great. I haven't heard any of them, but respect to all the hardworking English voice actors. Best Director Masaki Yuasa busted down on Keep Your Hands Off Isaac in. <laughs> it was very well directed. Props to you for being hilarious and props to you for being an original anime. Best Animation While I am amazed that this show can make bunnies attractive, hey, yo, what the fuck did you say? Keep Your Hands Off Isaac in is just beautiful. Jujutsu Kaisen also isn't finished yet. I got a feeling it's gonna bust. Best Character Design there's some really solid picks, but I love the character designs in Great Pretender. Best fight scene. How come y'all didn't put Kazuya versus his meat on here? Please get with the times. Best drama. I'm tired of showing you love when you came out in 2019. It feels wrong. Why couldn't I find time to watch you? You're a really good drama, but why did you make me laugh out loud a few times? Sing Yesterday for me, in my opinion, was delicious. Best comedy. Look, I'm sorry, but... Did y'all really have the audacity to make this even a competition? Everyone, sit the fuck down. Kaguya-sama got me laughing, pausing that shit, and going back 15 seconds to see what parts of the jokes I missed, which causes me to smile again. Do not act like any show is on this list. Shut up, you know what belongs on this list? Your YouTube channel, it's a joke. Best score. Man, this whole lineup so crispy. I'm gonna need you to sit down though. Like really, all of these soundtracks got so much to offer. There's just so many memories and different emotions across the board. I'm gonna just go with Pierre Bourne. 
best couple. So y'all really gonna act like these two a couple? They might as well be cousins. Y'all really put these two on here. The disrespect to Katarina's other 50 girlfriends. Lego C and Haru? I mean, bruh, I would let that slide if they actually did that thing at the end of season one. Hold up, I didn't mean the no-no thing. I'm talking about the other less no-no thing. Look, I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say she didn't exactly treat this king like he was her boyfriend. What else y'all got for me? The fuck? Audacity. I guess I got a girlfriend too, based on this logic. She's just 10 dollars a month. Hey, yo, what'd you say? I'm just kidding, chill. Show me your credit card history then. Chill out, I'll show you after this video is over. Now, these two right here are the best couple. The sheer amount of detail that goes into their relationship. Okay, shut up. Next category. <clears throat> okay, chill out, chill out. Next, best fantasy. Now, this is another time. Doro Hidoro. Uh, yeah, it is Doro Hidoro. Okay, the video is done. Hold up, one last category. Best audience. It's gotta go to y'all. Thank y'all so much. Bro, this is cheesy as fuck. We get it. Bro, okay, that's enough. Can you please stop ruining this video with your sorry ass voice? Show me your credit card history and I'll stop. You wanna see my credit card so bad? I'll show you my freaking credit card. Stop it, you know I have sensitive skin. Hey, stop!